testing, one, two, three, testing. Okay, it works. Hey guys, good morning everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. Uh, today we're gonna be covering a topic with separation anxiety. Yes, separation anxiety where you're going out to work, you have errands to run, you have to run to the grocery store, whatever the case may be. I know leaving your dog at home is something that's not very convenient because you know nobody wants to leave their dog at home alone. But of course, we are here to, to figure out how to have your dog, your puppy, become independent, and how can you be left alone without her. You know, have anxiety or depression, you know, just making her feel welcome. So, we're gonna be working on this topic of separation anxiety. I'll be giving you a few tips and ideas, uh, five tips and ideas of how to keep her calm, keep her safe while you're out and doing your stuff outside. So, let's get this video started. So, my first advice with separation anxiety how to keep them calm you can actually go on YouTube menu and then you can actually search dog separation anxiety music it will be one uh, pointer that you can use dog separation anxiety music or you can use uh, puppy uh, separation anxiety music any type of these topics of, of the niche that you see right now this will open up for you and you see 15 hours of deep separation music, separation anxiety music. With these type of music, I've tried out with Mickey before when she was uh, very little before. That actually does help. It, the, these are calm, it's very calming music to keep them calm while you're away to do grocery shopping. So there's tons of titles, dog music, puppy music, anti-anxiety music for dogs. Two hours there's 10 hours there's 20 hours I would never leave a dog home alone I mean for that long period of time though I mean we're talking about two to four hours max right um, maybe five hours the most but you should never leave your dog home alone for more than four hours to be honest with you um, so there's tons of different types of um, videos for you to actually turn on to so Good option would be go on YouTube, type in dog separation anxiety music. It will help calm your dog. It will help calm Mickey. And yeah, that'd be one idea to use, one tip to use for separation anxiety. You can also use classical music for dogs for calming. There's also a lost option. Classical music will work very well too. Uh, the calm classical music, the orchestra music can actually help calm your dog. So it's also a great way to get them calm and go to sleep while you're away. By the time you come home, she's done sleeping. So these videos really do help. So give that a try. Okay, so another way to help your dog with uh, anxiety Let's play fetch, Mickey. Mickey, you ready to play? Go, Mickey! Yes, play, fetch, exercise. Get your dog running. Get your dog to be fully um, energized to relax. Yeah, give them play. Mickey, ready to play again? Go, Mickey! So helping them with exercise, playing fetch you will help them release that stress by playing and exercising give them a good exercise before you go out to work or go out to do errands they'll be tired out by the time you go out to the door Mickey's already tired from all that work from all that exercise she just goes straight to bed on her little paddy pad right Mickey she goes straight to sleep and then after you wake up after she wakes up you're home already so not a good way is exercise lots of exercise Mickey Mickey go Mickey yes so 
exercise is a great way to work your pup and then she'll go straight to sleep by the time you're back you are ready to go right mickey so another good way to help your dog with separation anxiety while you are away you can actually keep in contact with your dog even though you're not at home how a camera yes a camera with a speaker you get this camera at the Home Depot for $25.99, $26.27, under $30. This one is very affordable. It has a speaker. You can buy a, uh, a memory card to record it. So while you're away, you can use the camera to monitor your dog's progress while they're home alone. You can speak to them. Of course, any camera will do. But uh, the Waze camera is actually a very good, affordable camera. So I definitely recommend getting a camera at home. This one in general, well this one in general is, is just a standard camera. But definitely I'm going to be changing it soon to the Waze Cam Pam, which is a upgrade from this camera. I'd like to say thank you to uh, Elizabeth uh, Short for this awesome gift for Mickey because we definitely need this one. This one, I would definitely recommend. You can get it at the Home Depot. This one's special because it's a, a 1080p pan, tilt, and a zoom Wi-Fi in their camera. This can rotate left and right. Very simple. And it's very affordable too. It's like under uh, $35 or $40. You can get it at the Home Depot. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. But get one of these cameras to monitor your dog you can actually speak to them too so get that and speak to your dog while you're away all right so we'll go with another option the good way to uh, prevent separating anxiety grab a piece of your clothing shirt a t-shirt a sweater whatever that may be a sense of the shirt the smell of you will definitely help calm them Drinky, it's not for chewing. So, what you can do is just leave it under bed. Just leave it under bed. You know, you can just leave it there. She'll play with it or plan to use a t shirt that you worn for a few days. Of course, that will have your smell to it. She'll get used to the smell when she is misses you or you know she needs your, she needs your comfort she'll go back to the shirt she'll lay there and sniff it knowing that that's is mommy smell then she won't feel so bad being alone so having a shirt pants whatever could be anything that has your scent wear it for a few days she'll sniff it she'll play with it but it'll comfort her so it's a good way this is mommy's uh, sweater and after a while, you know, she'll feel relaxed with the scent of smell coming from it. So that's a good way to help your dog or puppy to feel relaxed and calm at home while you're away. Car keys, whatever keys that may be, dogs are triggered by that thinking that you're leaving the house. So what we, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the keys, we're gonna walk downstairs automatically thinks that we are leaving look at her she automatically thinks we're leaving already she's by the door she's assuming that you're leaving the house how do we stop that look, she's waiting she thinks i'm leaving so what i'm gonna do is i want to do the open door close method with the sound of keys i want to let her think that the keys sound of keys is not me, me leaving the house but I'm just literally just behind the door I never left I'm just gonna pretend I'm leaving but I'm honestly not leaving see Mickey's right there you know how like I'm that close the door around her so this whole time behind this door right now Mickey's behind it Mickey's assuming I'm gone that I'm not home right now that I'm ready to leave. This is where she's gonna pack on panic. She's gonna whine, she might cry from it. Make her believe that you're not gone. So what do we do? Every minute 
that you open this door. After a minute, it opens. Open the door. Mickey's still there. Close the door again. And then we're gonna repeat the step. Now that was one minute. Next time, wait two minutes. After two minutes is ready, we're gonna open the door again. Mickey's still waiting, of course. You close the door again. Of course, this whole time, when you're doing that, you have your car keys with you. I'm still here though. I never left. So what you're gonna do is, you know, do three minutes now, and then four minutes. Increase the time variables every other time. So next time you walk in, out the door, do three minutes, and then step out. Maybe take a walk around the block. Do five minutes and come back inside. Make her believe that you never left. Mickey's still there. So your goal is to increase the time. You want to make your dog pup believe that you have never left the house. You are just behind this door the whole time. Because if you don't open this door anymore, she thinks you are gone. So this is what you have to do. You want her to believe that you're behind this door and the sound keys is still here. I never left. She's still there, you see? She thinks that you're leaving. Make her believe that you're not leaving. So every minute, go back inside. Every two minutes, go back inside. Every three minutes, go back inside. Yes, it is a continuous process. And you have to be patient. You have to keep doing it. And you keep doing it to a point where she will get tired of it. And she'll tell you, you know what? You're not leaving. You're just behind the door. That's how you set up the door open and close process. So you're gonna do one minute, two minute, four minutes, five, increase the time. One day you gotta go out, go out for 10 minutes, grab a drink from Starbucks, whatever, come back in 10 minutes. She's like, hey, 10 minutes not that bad. Increase it again to 15 minutes, to 20 minutes, to 30 minutes, and keep increasing the time slowly and slowly, day by day. This, this, this does not happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight, guys. So give it like two weeks straight, you know, whatever it takes. Let her know that you are just behind the store and you never left. After a while, she will stop waiting and she will stop waiting right there. She will feel more calm knowing that you're just behind the door. Okay guys, so that's just a few of my steps, my advice for separation anxiety. I mean, it takes a lot of time and patience to uh, get it right. Um, some people recommend the Thunder Buddy. It's like a little vest they wear to keep them feel warm. I never tried it, there's another way to do it. Some people recommend CBD oil, which I don't recommend. I don't recommend anything you have to take for it to feel calm. Try to do it as natural as possible. So other people have their methods. I have my methods, whatever works for you. And I hope it works out. I understand that small breeds, it's really hard to let them you know, be by themselves. But you know, sooner or later, you know, you're gonna have to learn how to uh, be independent, right Mickey? So uh, thank you, Mickey, for volunteering, Mickey. Yeah, Mickey, yeah, mm-hmm. So yeah, anyways, thank you Mickey for uh, helping out and hopefully these tips and advice will uh, help other puppy owners. Okay, see you later. Bye bye.